I'm Patrick Bailey with whiteboardcoder.com. Today is February 12th, 2019, and in this video I'll be going over how to, I'm going to be adding a physical hard drive to my ESXi 6.5, 6.50, update one server that I have running downstairs and provisioning it. Okay, I have an old box downstairs that I use for my ESXi server, and I've been using it for years, and I've been updating versions throughout the years. And I forget when I did it, but uh, the most recent update, I updated it to version 6.5.0. And I'm going to call that good until I build a new physical box with new new hardware. Um, hopefully sometime this year. We'll see. Uh, but before I build a new box, I'm starting to run out of space, so I need to add a new hard drive to it. So I went out and bought a 4 terabyte hard drive from Amazon, uh, a Western Digital, uh, 5400 RPMs, about $110 I bought it for. And so that should be enough space to get me by until I get to my next server. Um, now, I, I long... Uh, now, so what I did, I took this, I took this hard drive, I did the long format on it, so it took about a day and a half or so to format it the long, slow way. I kind of want to burn it in. And then I filled it up all the way with files, then I deleted some, put some back, spent a few days kind of doing a ad hoc burn-in. Not a real good burn-in, but you tend to have, you if you're going to fail, you tend to fail kind of in the beginning, and then you have a long period of niceness, nothing happens, and you fail years later. So I just kind of want to get that burn-in before I start using it. Um... Now, I have installed hard drives on this before, and actually I have a video uh, where I set this up in ESXi before, but it was like version 5.0 or 5.1. It's been a while. Um, I can put a link, link in here if someone cares about that in the show notes. But I did do that before, and those notes were actually pretty useful in doing this, but things have changed. Things have moved a little bit with 6.5, so I kind of need to, I need to do a few more things to get this going. So, uh, now let's go on to format the data store. So, it's been formatted by on Windows, so it's not the right format. It's not the right partition, so I have to go do some of that right now. So here I am on the box. I'm logged in. It's version 6.5.0, and I will go in here to manage. Oh, go into here to, sorry. Go in here to storage, where I've already got four drives on there, and there's my current data stores, but I need to add another one. So I'll click on devices here. And here I can see my additional drive in here. So it might, it's going to take me a second because I got a couple drives named the same. And I think it's this one. It's this one or the next one. Oh, not this one because you can see it's formatted VMFS. That's partitioned just right. Let me grab this one. There we go. This one's all ugly. So this one's not formatted correctly. Uh, it's formatted for Windows, not for, v not for uh, VMware. So I'll, I'll uh, first thing I have to do is click on Actions and Edit Partitions. Uh, well, I think I need to clear the partition database table. Let me clear the partition table on this guy. Say yes. Click on here and say Edit Partitions, Free Space, Looks Good, and hit Save Partitions. And hit yes. Oh, failed to update. Let me go back here and refresh. Edit partitions. Oh, it already did that. Sorry, when I cleared that, I've got all this free space, so I think I'm good. Um, so now I just want to make a new data store. Click on new data store. Uh, give it a name. Yeah. What am I at? Browser stores. One, two, three, four, five. So I'll make this six. So I'll say new data store, data store six. Data store dash six. Hit next. Useful disk, VMSF, VMFS six is fine by me. Hit next. And finish. The entire thing's gonna be erased and wiped out. Hit yes. We're good to go. And that's it. So we'll let this thing get all set up. Now if I go to my storage, Go to my data stores. There I go. Oh, I could have named it. I need to fix my naming convention a little bit. But there you go, data store six. And so now I'm good to go. And so now I can use this to provision hard drives for my server. So easy as that. Simple and to the point. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a like. To subscribe, just click the subscribe button. Also, you can follow me on Twitter under the handle at whiteboardcoder.com. View any code I may have thrown up as a gist uh, at GitHub under the username Patman Denver, or check out my blog site at whiteboardcoder.com.